Okay, let's go ahead and open up our reed case. Either oboe or bassoon reed case. Hard to do with one hand. <laughs> okay, open up your case and take out one reed. And we are going to put it in a little water container. Here's my water container. It's just an old medicine bottle that I washed out. And this works just fine for me to just dip my reed in for a few minutes. Either oboe or bassoon reed. In fact, I'll just put both in. Okay, while those are soaking, I wanna tell you about the parts of your reed. Let me grab both here. So, both oboe and bassoon reeds have some similar parts because they are both double reeds that have little openings in the end. And the most important part of your reed, the part you need to protect and that can break the most easily, is the tip. So this is the tip of your reed, and we put just the tip in our mouth when we play. The sides here, and both of them, are called the rails, the rails of the reed. The center part, like in this middle part right here, is called the heart of the reed. If you look at it sideways, you can see a little bit of raised. You should do this on your own read. You can see a little bit of raised in the middle and that is called the spine. The spine is raised and in the middle. And then on an oboe read, you have the string and the cork. And on a bassoon read, you have the tie, the wire. You have two of them. And then you have your string down here. Now bassoon, the bottom of your read is actually made of cork uh, or out of cane not cork, <laughs> it's made of cane. So you can see what the cane kind of looked like before it turned into a reed, which is kind of cool. Oboe reeds are too small for that, so they go on something called a staple. There's a little metal peg inside of this cork, and that's what the reed is tied on to. Okay, and then you can see two knots, kind of. The top one is a little bit harder to see, usually on an oboe reed, but this bottom one and is called a tie. It's called a tie, and then bassoons have two ties as well these two, and you should not need to mess with those very much at all. You just shouldn't mess with them. <laughs> okay, so your reed should be ready to go. Once you've soaked your reed, you can go on to the next section.